Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by, I really do appreciate it. So if you haven't noticed, over the last four to six weeks maybe, there has been an explosion of new firearm purchases and there is a lot of new firearms owners in the community. So for those of you who may be new, welcome to the Second Amendment community. I really um, appreciate and congratulate you on becoming a new firearm owner uh, and I applaud you for exercising your Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms. So with that being said, I wanted to do a couple videos for you guys on um, basic firearm safety and talk to you about uh, some maybe some training and stuff like that. Uh, by no means am I an expert. I am just a, a guy with a channel that has a lot of experience with firearms in and outside the military. Uh, in my civilian life, I have over 68 hours of firearms instruction, uh, so I'm bringing that to the table, and then I have countless hours in the military of basic firearms um, safety, uh, basic rifle marksmanship, basic pistol marksmanship, uh, so on and so forth. I have qualified expert, I have qualified expert on both uh, rifle and pistol in my time in the military, and uh, so I, I feel fairly confident that I can kind of articulate some things for you guys. So let's talk about the four universal firearm safety rules. Uh, they're pretty easy. My 10 year old daughter knows them. Um, she doesn't have them memorized, but uh, she understands the concepts. And let's talk about that real quick. This is my EDC carry. This is the pistol that I carry on an every single day basis. Uh, and it is, it's a little souped up, but uh, regardless of the fact, it doesn't matter. Let's pretend that this is loaded. And that's rule number one. Always treat every pistol, every firearm, as if it is loaded. And that bleeds right into rule number two, the reason why we're going to treat it as if it's loaded, because we're not going to point this firearm at anything that we're not willing to destroy. So those two Rules one and two kind of play to uh, each other, kind of play off each other. Treat it as if it's loaded. Don't point it at anything. Even if it's your mother-in-law, let's just not do that, okay? <laughs> uh, number three is one that it's a dad joke that I always say to my daughter. It gets a giggle out of her. But uh, you're going to keep your booger hook off of the bang switch, right? So uh, basically keep your finger off the trigger until you are prepared to fire. One of the ways that I do that is I always keep my finger either indexed at the top of the trigger housing or the frame, or I place it on the ejection port. These are two little areas that you can easily identify with your finger after you've been around the pistol uh, for a while, especially with a Glock. And uh, that's a good way to ensure that your finger will not get near the trigger at any point in time. And then the final rule, rule number four, is to ensure that you have identified your target and know what is in front and behind, side to side of your target. Basically, what is around your target. Make sure that you know 100% that what you're getting ready to shoot at is safe to be shot at. So those are the four rules. Um, I didn't say them verbatim on what you can find online, but one of the things that I would encourage you guys to do if you're really interested in doing so uh, is find a morale patch or print off the rules from you know something online and then post them up around the house, whether that be uh, in your den or on the refrigerator, uh, your, your gun safe, uh, whatever the case may be. One of the things that I did was I got a morale patch and I put it in my daughter's room. Uh, it's something that I can point to very easily and we can go over the rules from time to time. So that's something that I really, um, really encourage you guys to do. Now from here, uh, I wanted to talk about how to unload a firearm. There's a number of different ways to do this. This is the way that I've been taught from the military and in the civilian training that I've got. Um, you can agree or disagree, but I know for a, for a fact, 100% of the time, following these rules, following these steps of unloading a firearm, it will be rendered safe each and every single time. So, got my EDC, 
got my magazine, I just put it in. I've just loaded the firearm and we are going to now unload this pistol. We're going to do so by finding the magazine release. It's going to be in different places with different pistols, but most modern firearms are going to have it around this area right here. They do so so that you can actuate it with your thumb. So we're going to depress the magazine release and remove the source of ammunition, in this case, a magazine. It's not a clip, it is a magazine. And then as the pistol is in the vertical position, pointed in a safe direction, I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees so that the ejection port is facing down. I do so to allow gravity to help me extract that round that's now inside the chamber of this pistol. From there, we have this little lever right here. It's a slide catch, slide release, slide stop, depending on who you talk to at the end of the day. It really doesn't matter what you call it. It is a lever designed to lock the slide to the rear. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to lift up on this with our thumb. At the same time, I am pulling the slide back. So the way I do that is, like I said, rotate it 45 degrees, ejection port down, I am now pushing up with my thumb and I am pulling it to the rear. There is a little notch right here that it will catch on and I have pulled or extracted the round out of the chamber. From here, I'm going to visually inspect to ensure that there is nothing in the firearm. I'm going to look away and I'm going to look again. Yes, I'm going to verify that there is nothing in there and there is not. So it's, this is completely unloaded from right here. So you can leave it just like this if you want. Typically what I do from here is I immediately allow the slide to go forward, whether that be by pushing down on this lever or pulling back and releasing. And then I'm going to depress the trigger, actuating the striker, since this is a striker fired um, pistol. And now I know that it is completely clear. So I don't have to worry about the springs being um, depressed, uh, wear them out if you believe that type of thing, uh, or anything like that. It's completely rendered safe, all right? So what if you don't own a Glock? What happens if you own something different? And I have this right here. This is my 1911 that my father built for me when I returned from Afghanistan. So it is one of my most prized possessions. It's my favorite pistol and I will never get rid of it um, because of the sentimental value of it. But this is a little bit different type of pistol. This is a striker fired pistol. This is a hammer fired pistol. And 1911s will be single action only pistols, which means that it can only fire if the hammer is cocked. Right? In this particular situation, the safety, the thumb safety is actuated. So this is in a safe condition, even though it is loaded, or at least we believe that it's loaded. But we're going to follow basically the same steps. We're going to find the magazine release. We're going to depress that and remove the source of ammunition or remove the magazine. We have our slide lever, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter to me. And there's a little notch right there that we're going to press this up and catch into that notch. So we're going to first depress the safety so that the slide will actuate. And we have now locked the slide to the rear. We're gonna visually look down into the ejection port to ensure that the pistol is unloaded and there is nothing in there. I'm gonna look away, I'm gonna look again. It's completely unloaded. All right, we're good. With this type of pistol, what I can do is I can grab onto the hammer, regardless if it's my thumb or with my other hand, and I can ease the hammer forward. Now, in this type of situation, with this type of pistol, since it is a single action only pistol, if the hammer is forward, even if there's a round in this firearm, if there's a round in the chamber, I can pull this trigger all day long, nothing's going to happen, right? So I know that this is 100% safe. But at the end of the day, we're still going to treat this as if it's loaded, so we're going to set this down facing a safe direction, and that's it. 
that is really all you need to know as far as unloading a firearm. And I really do uh, think that new firearm owners need to read their manuals, make sure they understand how to operate their firearm, especially when it comes to unloading, so that uh, if they choose to keep it unloaded or whatever the case may be, they can do so or at least render their firearm to be in a safe condition. Another great way to do that is to uh, also practice this. Um, I've been around firearms for a very long time, so I have no problems handling firearms that have live ammunition. However, if you would like to practice, one of the things that I would suggest is to purchase what they call snap caps. They're basically plastic dummy rounds, plastic dummy bullets. Uh, you can find those down in the description below if you guys are interested in that. Um, I'll have a link to it so you guys can pick some up if you are interested in practicing. But it would be a great way for you to not only school yourself, but also to train your family members as well, uh, regardless if that is your spouse or an older uh, child, um, maybe a neighbor or other family members, it doesn't matter. Um, that's a good way to do it. If you are going to do that, I would ensure that your magazine is completely empty of all live ammunition before you put those snap caps in. Um, you can uh, work through the snap caps and unknowingly use live ammunition uh, to practice with, and I wouldn't suggest that for uh, anyone who is new to firearms. So just keep those things in mind. Uh, sorry if this was long-winded, but I really do guys, uh, really do appreciate you guys swinging by. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that I shared this with you guys. So if you guys are new to the world, uh, you kind of have some, at least a resource to turn to. So let me know what you guys think. Sound off in the comment section down below. Are these videos uh, educational for you guys? Would you like to see other types of uh, videos? Got a couple other ideas that I'm going to throw out there over the next couple weeks. So um, enjoy. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thanks for swinging by. Freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. We'll catch you guys later. Bye, y'all.